Hi. Well, I hope everybody's doing well. And um, but what am I going to do for a video this week? I, I've always had a million ideas, but then they somehow seem to disappear when I have to uh, shoot. Not have to when I'm in the mood to shoot one, uh, a video that is. And I should just do it as soon as I have that moment. But uh, anyway, here I am. And um, for those of you, I'm not sure who saw uh, the video that I did on what is a foamer. And I was just so surprised uh, how many people actually didn't know what the uh, definition was or what the word stood for besides other meanings. But one of them was uh, about, you know, people that um, are real fans. And so a foamer is a person that drills at the mouth. I will put the video up there, uh, the, the link. If you haven't seen it, you check it out. It's a really good one. Uh, anyway, and then I thought, well, you know what? Uh, what came to mind for me, I thought, well, probably most people know that. I mean, that's not anything new. And so I actually, of course, I went to, I, where would you go? To Google or you go to YouTube. And so I put it into the search engine. And so I Googled, you know, baseball hats. How do you clean your baseball hat? And there was all kinds of ideas that came up. So this is not a new idea, but it's the old thing, right? If you're not thinking of it and it's not on your mind, you're probably not looking for it. So I thought, you know what? Why don't I share my little hack on it? Because um, as you've heard me say before, it's uh, when I try to do something, it's got to serve at least one or two, two or three per purposes, right? Not just one. And one of the things that um, I do on a regular basis is I clean my dishwasher. Uh, you can get these. Oh, let me grab it here. You can get these um, different different companies make different ones. This one is good for whether it's a Bosch or a Whirlpool or whatever. So once a month, I clean my dishwasher. I mean, think about it, how much stuff goes through the dishwasher. And I like to clean it so to make sure that if it's clean, then all the lines and so forth, hopefully, um, will get cleaned at the same time. So I use this product, this particular, use whatever you like. I mean, there's lots of them out there, but this, Actually, I'd probably pick up the least expensive one, to be quite honest. And of course, this is only going to work if you have a dishwasher, okay? Some of us uh, don't have dishwashers, and uh, that's okay, too. Then you're going to do it a different way. Dirty hats. Oh, so gross. Right? Now, I don't know how, if you guys can see... Um, actually, it doesn't look that bad, but believe me, it's got... It's, it's all brown in there, but maybe not as brown as it should be. Okay, this one's better. So you see this one? But yeah, just a little bit of perspiration happening there. And of course, if you're an avid baseball cap guy, then it's really important to keep the shape of the hat as well. This one's dirty up in here. So I've got four hats here, and then this one's all dirty at the back. And look at this one inside. Yeah, yuck, 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 you guys. Okay, so um, not as noticeable if you keep this on your head. Sorry, guys. I was looking. <laughs> not as noticeable if this is on your head, but if you take it off and lay your hat anywhere, yeah, I don't need to be seeing this. I don't think anybody else would want to see it either. Okay, so what I like to do, uh, because, you know, I'm a little anal that way. I just don't, I'm just not gonna feel good about putting these hats. I put them in my dishwasher. I lay them on the top rack and put them through a whole cycle. So what I do is I try to coordinate this particular thing with the same day that I am going to do this. So what I do is I put the hats in, and I'm gonna show you on the top shelf and then I just use my regular little dishwash thing that I clean my dishes with. Let that run through a whole cycle. And then I clean my dishwasher. Because I just, I don't know, there's just something about having the hats in there and then uh, putting a whole load of dishes in there. I just want to know it's clean. I'm kind of that person. So anyway, all right, let me show you what I do. Okay, so I've got my regular little dishwasher cube soap thing. It's got everything in it. 
Now, the one thing I don't do, I've just never ever taken a chance on it, is um, that you like, you know how you can get the pre-spray for your laundry. Like I usually use an Oxy. I don't put that in because I would worry about uh, my machine set, sensing up. So I'm just gonna do it the way I always do it. Just the regular, regular way. Oh, look at This is Bill. Bill put something in there because he didn't realize I was keeping it empty for a reason. Okay, so. These are my son-in-laws. Um, he's not quite as worried about the shape. You can actually get, um, I don't know if you've ever seen them. I don't have one. Um, just not spending the money on it because it works so far. Um, you can actually get like plastic forms, I guess, and you put the hat in it. But yeah, I just, I just don't need to be spending that money. Okay, so I've got these in the top. I've got my sudsy thing, I'll put it in there, and I will turn on my dishwasher. There, and this, was, this is just, it's not a fancy dish, it's just a whirlpool, and I haven't cleaned it because it's cleaning day. Okay, so uh, we will let them wash the cycle. And then I will bring you back and we'll see um, that Murphy's Law is not going to be the deal today, that uh, they're going to be beautiful and clean. Okay, well, it has stopped and, oh, look at my glasses, they're totally steaming up. Now this is interesting. This came out really, really clean. But there's a new spot on there. So did it just get so clean that those won't come out? So I might have to try something else on those. That one came out really, really well. And this one came out really, really well. I mean, I don't think he's ever cleaned his, so <laughs> they came out. This one came out really, really well. This is a darker material, so I keep thinking, is it dirty? But no, all the perspiration. There is a spot there that maybe needs a spot clean. And if you remember this one had all the sweat stains and stuff, and that came out. Happy handyman service. That's my son-in-law's business. <laughs> there you go. That's good. Okay, so now I've got those clean, and the machine, of course, is still is now totally empty. So now I'm going to clean my machine with um, these things that I have to um, clean the machine. The instructions are is that. I put one of these in the little dish here and then you just throw another one um, just in the machine itself so I'm just going to throw it into the bottom now on this particular uh, one that I bought it suggests that you um, use the hottest cycle that you can get the longest and the hottest cycle so I have two more left make sure I wash my hands so I don't get ooh, any of this so I'm going to turn this on and make sure it's hot there we go um, yeah I, this one if you remember you, you can go back on the video this one was all stained, so it's beautifully clean. It's kept its shape. This one has come out really, really clean. 
So that is a good thing. And this one has come out really, really clean. This is the only one, and I'm gonna to try to, I have this really great stuff, so I'm gonna to try to spray that on there. And then he's got a hat, it's beautiful again. Okay guys, so um, as far as seeing what happens with the machine, I don't have to share that. It's gonna go through the cycle. It's gonna smell really pretty. Okay, I just thought I'd show these quickly because now they're dry. Look how nice these turned out. They didn't even look this good when they're wet. Yeah, there's not even any spots nothing so this whole dishwasher thing really does work my dishwasher is beautiful and clean look at that and then this one this one had all the perspiration remember all that and it's all gone too so great little hack you guys if you uh, have a dishwasher you can do that if not you just scrub it and if you need handyman services, I guess he's still in business. <laughs>